Hello, I'm Viana Saavedra, the proud superintendent of the El Paso Independent School District. Welcome to the first edition of Dialogue with Viana, one of the new tools I will be using to share news and information about the school district with you. Every Dialogue with Viana will be filled with updates, tidbits, and important facts you need to stay current with everything that is happening throughout the district. So let's get started. The Board of Trustees this week approved the 22-23 instructional calendar, which included significant input from students, parents, and employees. As a Texas District of Innovation, we continue to use school calendar options that better allow for our teachers to implement the important lessons we know are making a difference. Here are a couple of key important dates on the calendar. First day of school for students is Monday, August the 1st. Winter break is from December 19th to January 3rd. Intercessions are scheduled for October 3rd to October 7th and March 6th through March the 10th. We also will have a fall break from October 10th to the 14th and a spring break from March 13th to March 17th. The last day of school for students will be Wednesday, June the 7th. A copy of the calendar will be posted on the EPISD website and shared in our social media channels. During the board meeting, trustees also heard an update on the COVID situation in our city and its impact on our district. We continue to work with the leading health authorities to craft mitigation plans for our campuses and have updated our public information to make our protocols and practices easier to understand and follow. The board adopted a new mask provision that will go into effect on January the 25th through February the 15th. At that point, the board will visit with health experts to determine next steps. With this new provision, the expectation is for all students, employees, and visitors to wear a mask. However, an opt-out option is available for those who choose not to wear one. The administration is working on the details for the new rules and will update the community very soon. You can always review our COVID protocols in English y en Español on our COVID information page at episd.org slash COVID-19. You can also follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and even TikTok for the latest updates. During Tuesday's board meeting, the board also heard an update on the district's college career mil and military readiness goals, and I'm pleased to announce that El Paso ISD remains ahead of the pace with the state and the region in the indicators that show our students are prepared for life after high school graduation. They also approved more than $3 million in purchases of Apple devices to support the one-to-one -one technology initiative the district has implemented in grades pre-K through third. They also approved nearly $900,000 in purchases for custodial equipment and personal protective equipment using federal ESSER funds aimed at maintaining school operations during the COVID pandemic. We've had a lot to celebrate in the last couple of weeks. Our students and teachers continue to provide us with an array of points of pride that make El Paso ISD the school district of choice in the borderland. Here are some highlights. We celebrated the ribbon cutting of the new Don Haskins pre-K through eight school, one of our EPISD bond school projects and part of the right sizing of the district. We announced the funding of an outdoor kitchen for the culinary arts program at Bowie High School that will help further the mission of providing healthy access to food and nutrition to students in that part of the city. We launched our digital athletics ticket sales platform that shifts all ticketing for sporting events online for a faster and more secure way of paying to watch our student athletes compete. And we welcomed three new principals, Angelica Hernandez at Rosa Guerrero Elementary, Cindy Contreras at Dr. Nixon Elementary, and Yang Vega at Jefferson Silva High School. Congratulations to all three of you. Lastly, I want to invite you to visit the superintendent's page on the EPISD website where you can read and review my 90-day entry plan into the district. The plan is an outline of the work I will do as I transition into my role as superintendent of schools. Take a look and join me, building on the legacy of EPISD. I hope you enjoyed our dialogue. Follow me on social media and stay connected to be part of the great things happening in El Paso ISD. Hasta pronto.